Monday, I wake up to the soothing sounds of the Sora podcast to start the week off with optimum Sora energy levels. After spending 7 hours aggressively scouting JD Gun the 23 players that I can't afford, I head over to Twitter to check out the hottest tweets. Oh, he's um... He's been suspended. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Because I have to set my training teams up for the next game week anyway. 21 teams and we are good to go. Oh, for fuck's sake! Tuesday, I wake up to the therapeutic sounds of the Penthes caressing my eardrums to get me ready for the day. What's up guys, the Penthes here and welcome back to another so rare video. I then write down 10 things I love about TSV Heartbook before heading over to the Discord to ask, when rewards? <laughs> It's dark outside now, meaning I can head over to the live play page to check out how my players are doing this evening, and, um, oh, fuck. I've, uh, I've captained a player who's suspended for his game. Shit. It's Wednesday now, the day that anyone who is anyone knows is the best day to make a profit on the transfer market. Trading mode engaged! I buy a Ranaker for 0 0.0014 Ethereum and sell him on for 0 0.0016 Ethereum. That's over a 25p profit right there. And I only got blocked by 17 other managers while making all of my shitty lowball offers. If you ask me, that's a good day's work. Thursday. I'm a man of pure focus because today is Discord Bingo Day. I set up two Sora Discord Bingo boards, but first I head downstairs to make a cup of coffee while thinking of Z and Fleming. I open the Discord and the game is ready to begin. I take a sip of coffee. The game's over. Both boards are already full and it's not even 7am. For the 23rd week in a row, Sora Discord Bingo ends in a dead draw, still undefeated. I then spend an hour and a half envisioning myself hitting the podium in Global All-Star Division 4. I think of how well all of my players are going to perform. I think of the amazing reward I'm going to win and I think of the fantastic clickbait YouTube title I can use in my upcoming video. Now it's time to set my training teams for the upcoming game week but don't worry I'm not gonna make the same mistake as last time Oh my fucking god! Friday. I've stayed up all night to monitor an auction that was ending at 5am. I didn't win the card. In fact, I don't know why I even stayed up to watch the auction considering I don't own a super rare team, but who cares? Because today is the day that I will become the proud new owner of a tier 3 limited card after another successful game week. Motionless, I'm poised for 9 hours at my desk awaiting my reward. Every second is agonising as the anticipation relentlessly builds. Gasp! It's here! Trembling with excitement, I claim my reward. Look at that subtle off-yellow colouring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god, he even starts for his team. I check my new card's price and see it's worth £3. Tears of joy stream down my face as I tweet to let everyone out there know that I, Roy Olivi, am now the proud owner of this card after yet another fantastic game week. This is what eternal happiness feels like. Saturday, with some time to kill before the games kick off, I intensely brainstorm future YouTube video ideas. My life is over, my first game of the weekend and my main goalkeeper has unexpectedly not started. I'm in the middle of writing Sora a strongly worded letter when out of the corner of my eye I see a glimmer of hope. A beacon of light! I see Matija Horvat has scored a 45 in the Specialist Weekly Tournament and a wave of relief washes over me in an awesome way knowing that if all four of my other players score 100 then everything will be alright. Sunday. It's 3am. I've just finished watching the Nashville vs Atlanta game. Check Sora and to say I'm livid would be an understatement. While watching the game I was meticulously counting Thiago Amada's passes. He made 30 34 accurate passes, yet Opta, they've only awarded him with 33. This could scooper my game week big time. I spend the next 5 hours of my time contemplating where to go from here. In trying times like these I look to the heavens and think to myself, what would Zena Fleming do? I snap out of it. There are more matches to be played today and I know this is my game week to shine. Uh, it turns out however that I'm pretty shit at so five. Despite all my manifestation exercises, here I am nothing but an empty shell of a Sora manager who did not podium. Defeated, I set my alarm to the Sora podcast, ready to do it all again next week.